Hello everybody, today game is gonna be all about those 23 kills that I got, alright? So first of all, we're gonna start with the action, dude. We're gonna start getting our first kills. And let me talk you through this, okay? Because one of the important things, you know, the most important things to be able to do this kind of stuff is that I'm going PTA, I'm going cutdown, I'm taking HP scaling as a ruin shard so I get more value out of cutdown to be able to hit targets that are building HP or enemy ADCs that are starting with Doran's Blade. Also, I got Cosmic Insight, so I always have my Ghost and Flash when I really need them. And I'm allowed to use that Flash and that Ghost in difficult scenarios, in scenarios where I can pursue kills and I don't have to hesitate about that, okay? I can just run them down. Simple as that. Also, I get Magic food, Magical Footwear because I don't want to spend 300 gold getting those boots what i want to do is get my kraken slayer and collector as soon as possible and getting those 300 extra gold and not having to spend them into boots is insanely helpful also the extra most but yeah that's kind of whatever though and I got Presence of Mind, which is very, very important because Presence of Mind, especially in very early game, allows you to put way more pressure into lane fates, especially in situations where you wouldn't be able to do that kind of stuff, okay? Because I know people don't think like, yeah, I feel doesn't have mana issues, but brother, it does, and, and nobody, nobody has mana issues if you don't cast your abilities, okay? That's what I, that's what happens. Nobody has mana issues if they don't cast abilities, all right? So if you're gonna try to win early game, you really need this press of mind. You 100% need this, okay? Now here, for example, I made a mistake, and this is very important to know this, because PDA is kind of tricky to perform when you are using Inferno. So I'm thinking maybe I should start using Graviton way more. But I was checking this match again and again and again and again, and especially looking at this same part, and I think that I could have actually performed this better by using Calibrum Art instead of, instead of Inferno. Art, use Calibrum R here and don't instantly follow up the auto attack, right? Don't instantly follow up that the auto attack on Karma. Instead, what I should have done here is throw that Calibrum Q and with while the Calibrum Q is in the air, I follow the Calibrum R with an auto attack and then I follow up the next Calibrum Mark with another auto attack. So I'm allowed to get two auto two auto attacks with Calibrum Empower auto attack here. Uh, besides the off weapon, which is Inferno, which gives 10% extra damage, right? So I will have end up killing this guy, okay? That's just a note here, a note. Because dealing with Inferno is kinda tricky if you end up hitting more than one target with Inferno Q. Overall, you need to keep that in mind, alright? So this build is so good, bro. Look, look at the damage, look at the damage. Yeah, see what I mean? See what I mean, dude? This is what I was talking about. If I did something like this to Karma, using the Calibrum Mark... Yeah, you see that, you see that. Okay, Calibrum Mark. Auto attack, Q. Auto attack. You see? That is so good, bro. That is so good. Now, against Karma, I would have done the Calibrum Q first because she was farther away. So, if the enemy is farther away than you, you are allowed to use the Calibrum Q even if the target is marked already, okay? That's just how it works. But that is really good, no matter what. Now, overall here is kind of tricky the match because, yes, we have... I think we have a good team cop, right? I think we have a good team cop. Zack and... Cassante, if they play that good, they can win everything. But that did really not happen that much, okay? I'm not trying to play my team. By the way, I'm trying to play my team. I think these two players are great players. Dude. I have encountered this sack way too many times against me and with me. And I think this guy is actually an amazing player. I love playing with him, but I love playing against him. And Cassante is just a regular 1000 LP challenger player, so... <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I, I cannot tell anything about this guy, right? I cannot even I cannot even phantom what goes through his mind. He, he just misplayed though. Like there were times here where he misplayed. But everybody makes mistakes, so I'm not trying to flame him, like I said. So what I was getting to by saying this is that our team comp is not bad. But the point here is that we don't if we don't kill Brand on team fights, we're gonna struggle way too much. We're gonna struggle way, way too much. And look at this, bro. 11 minutes and I have my Crocus Slayer and straight to Dirk and Boots. Boom. That damage is insane, dude. Also, I made a mistake here. I did not need to commit that hard onto that brand. I just I should have just let Galio secure the kill and I don't give a 300 gold shutdown to this Ezreal, okay? Yeah, I make mistakes too. Like I said before, I make a lot of mistakes too. But the point here is the way that we are getting into this advantage, right? We're getting this lead and we are making this lead into winning the game okay 
Because we are winning this game, bro. 23 kills? No way, I'm not winning this. And the way we are doing this is going... Is playing with this specific, this specific build, okay? I g gave up. I mean, kind of gave up on Fleet. Because I really cannot push that through when I'm playing just Clone Fiesta all the game. And I feel like the meta kind of changed. And if the meta changed, you just need to change, brother. Like, last season it was more like, yeah, you're chilling, lame, play that, scale and everything. But right now it's not like that at all, bro. Right now it's not like that at all. Like, everybody has so much move speed. Everybody's using goals. Everybody's going crazy. Everybody's trying to look for kills. They have some... Everybody has so much damage. So trying to scale is not really the, the right way to play this now. So I'm going PTA. And I'm just, and going Cosmic Inside used to be a wild animal, bro. Used to take everything that comes in front of me. Used to actually win and 1v9, okay? And this is very useful because this kind of thing allows me to try to walk out, try to get get my ghost sooner, get my flash sooner, and actually perform different fights, okay? And now, for example, here, I kind of misplayed this, right? Because I should have used my Calibrum R as soon as Ezreal was getting, trying to get away from the top turret that way it hits i don't need to wait for the second hit to connect i can hit my caliber r when the second hit is connecting so i make sure that i get a kill and listen this flash i know you what you may think about this like it was not necessary at all right it was not necessary at all i had my shot down karma got the shot down but brother i had to, i had to do it okay i had to do this all right i had to why i had to because i needed i need that Ezreal to know that he should be afraid of me, dude. I need that. I need that, bro. I don't know if that's ego. I don't know. I don't know, bro. Listen, I lost too many ways. I lost too many games, okay? I lost too many games, all right? So I need to do this. I had to do this, bro. And you know, why am I allowed to do this? Why I'm capable of doing this is because Cosmic Insight, dude. Yeah, it's crazy how all revolves around that, dude. Cosmic Insight is such an insane route to be allowed to play out stuff like this, okay? And that thing allows me to play way more aggressive than I, I would be able to. Instead of just waiting for the right moment or trying to counterplay them. Because I'm I'm good. I'm good, okay? I'm good. I know I'm good at counterplaying enemies. I'm actually trying to to see how they're going to play a team fight and countering that. But the thing is that at this point, Ophelia doesn't even have Gale for suit. And everybody's taking goals. Almost everybody's taking goals. Right? Like you can see here, bro. Brand doesn't even have flash. Brand has goals. Trunnel has go Trunnel has goals. And because of things like that, dude, it's it's not that you just have to kite like a madman now. Right now, the most important thing is getting damage. And when they try to type you, you kill them before they kill you. That's all, bro. That's all. And because of stuff like that, I rather have I rather make this error be afraid of me. Be afraid to getting close to me. So that way he's never gonna try to run me down. And if I have the first hit, if I have the upper hand when he's trying to engage and when I'm walking up, I'm gonna win every single every single fight. I'm gonna win every single fight that he walks up. Because he's gonna be afraid. He's gonna hesitate. Now this was kinda of bad. Now you see what I mean. Like this is the point where my I, I saw the Cassandra is kinda of trolling, right? He's not respecting Bran, he's just trying to run down Karma that has Root, that has Shield, move speed, and everything, right? And this is just bad. This is just insanely bad, dude. And because this is such a bad moment, dude, we end up overextending way too much here. Way too much. Gladly, I'm allowed to kite this out. I mean, I'm trying to get this kill, kill, kill this guy. Like, somehow. But I end up dying because I get hit by another Q that looks like an auto attack, by the way. Like, look at that. Q, auto attack. It looks kinda the same, dude. And that's my bad. I did not notice that was a Q animation. I, I should have just sidestep, dude. If I just sidestep that, I would probably survive and kill this guy with two extra auto attacks. But listen, I honor Galleon for a reason, right? I actually honor Galleon for a reason. This brother, this brother right here, dude, this guy was doing an insane work. I know I get I got a lot of kills, right? And my Blitzcrank was kind of performing, but if if it wasn't for this Galio, we wouldn't have al be allowed to actually play this game out, dude. And they played very, very good. My Galio played very, very good, and Blitzcrank was kind of good, right? Overall, I'm just with the same mission. I'm not afraid to play Legion because I know I scale with this build. Oh my god, I know I scale with this build. Okay, like, look, look at this, look at this. This is what I mean, right? This is what I mean. I want Ezreal to be afraid of me. I want Ezreal to hesitate when he's landing out of that. Like, like when he hesitates here, dude. 
You see? And I just get him, brother. I just get him. Collector Kraken. Collector Kraken, indeed, brother. The value is insane. Now, if there was any way that I could reduce my R cooldown, that would be crazy, dude. But so far, the only build that can do that is Hexplate. And Hexplate is only useful if you're going tank build to deal with Illusion or to deal with a hard eye complex, like Draven, Nautilus, or something like that, dude. But it comes like this, the, uh, the hex play is not that good. You just like damage against against them, okay? Now, I'm going for BT because Brand. Brand does so much damage and the, and the damage is gonna hit me somehow, like always. Like just R, one hit with R, I'm, I'm done. I, I lower my HP and I don't have a really a way to heal myself. Also, Ezra, one Q, Karma, one Q, and, I, and then I just stroll to keep playing, dude. So I'm trying to, to keep it cool. I'm trying to just play around our win condition. For example, there, I'm not following up that, okay? I'm not following up that because I have to go, I have to waste codes. I have to waste flash there. And if I follow up on that, like against that brand engage, the only thing that happens there is that I get close to brand and then brand uses that R on me instead of Blitzcrank. He just changed focus. And the thing is that when he uses the brand, when he uses the R, I cannot get close to because that thing is gonna bounce on Blitzcrank and then kill me, okay? But at this point, really has no cooldowns. Really has no cooldowns at all. But it's fine. I can just keep... I can I can just keep doing my thing. Now, I kind of make a mistake here because as soon as I saw Errol going bot lane, I knew I could go full alien, right? But before, I did not really saw... I, re I did not really see him, so I wasn't trying to get anything from there. I was just trying to space out because Errol can actually do a lot of damage to me, so I need to respect that brother, okay? Now, another thing here is that PTA ends up scaling well. I wouldn't say insanely well. Like, for example, look at this, bro. Look at this, dude. Look at this, look at this. That guy is dead, bro. That... That brand is dead. The thing that I should have done here, different, is flash auto auto Q. That's what I should have done. Flash auto auto Q. If I flash auto auto Q, that guy is dead. Look at this, brother. Even through even through exhaust, I just use Severin Q. My mind is really struggling, bro. He's struggling so hard there. It's fine though. It's fine though. Like I don't worry that much about using my ghost, using my flash at this point. Because Cosmic Insight, bro, and I love this rune. I love this rune so much. I was very fond of this rune last season, but I stopped using it and I start going cause I start going absolute focus and guiding storm because also fleet because the meta on that last se on the middle part of the last season got more around just scale, not right to fire again, scale, scale, enchanters meta, just wait up, sit there. It was so boring, dude. So so boring. But right now it's like just every i mean it's probably because there are new items and we are just getting used to the damage it's probably because the map changed a lot but it's very wild <laughs> and, and i like it bro. i like it i like how wild the game how wild the game is right now because everybody's just looking for fight bro everybody's just looking to throw hands and i like that we are actually all fighting here now i'm trying to be very careful careful here because if i die there is nothing I'm gonna be able to help afterwards, especially Baron. Like, for example, look at this, dude. Boom, boom, boom. Those were three out attacks, bro. Three out attacks. Art, out attack, out attack. Oh my god, dude. This damage, bro. This damage is so good. Damn it. I love, I love it, bro. I love this damage. I love it. And listen, we kind of dropped to Diamond 1 when, I were, when we were playing some Razor Fleet. I mean... To be honest, at the start we were playing Stone Resort Fleet and we got to Master and then we got to Master 90 nine LP and then we dropped back to Diamond 40 LP, trying to push through with Stone Racer and everything. And now that we're going Kraken Slayer and PTA, we got like from Diamond 1, 20 LP to, to Master, what, are we Master 50 LP right now? So it's just good, bro. I think this build is very good. And the good thing about this is that now we're playing with Challengers, Grandmasters. And that is very good because that increases my LP gains and we're getting back there to Challenger, bro. We might hit Challenger very soon now. And now that I'm, ch now that I'm saying this, I need to remind you guys that drop a like on the video. Feel free to ask me anything about the builds, about the, about the game. Also, I'm taking coaching sessions again. If you want to get coached one time a month, 
you need to become a member, a Crescentum tier member here in YouTube. And with that, you have more than enough to get coach. One session, okay? One session a month. It's insane value. Insane value, brother. Actually, insane value. Anyway, I kind of make another mistake here, okay? I kind of make another mistake here. And that's why I say that because I'm this kind of trolling. Like, he dashes to me with that, brother. Bro, just die there. Just die there. Like, and the issue with that is that because he dashes to me with that thing, I get a slow by relay. And that slow with relay do knows, do, do knows, does not allow me to guide, okay? I cannot guide anymore. That slow just messes me up, messes me up very hard. And because of that, I end up dying. But then again, I probably just, I probably should just let, have let him die and not do anything. Like I'm checking the profile here saying, yeah, my, bro my brother is that challenger, that challenger, bro. I'm not, not flaming, by the way, not flaming. Mistakes happen to everybody, okay? Now, another thing, if you want to see more enhanced comprehension about lane phase and me explaining way more about what I'm doing in game or what I'm plans to do in game very early in draft and rune setup, I suggest you to watch the live streams, okay? Make sure to hit that bell and turn, well, of course, turn the notifications on with a bell, subscribe. And follow the live streams, bro, because in the live streams I'm talking a lot about the builds, I'm talking a lot about runes, I'm, I'm actually always answering questions about the game. So you wanna ask some questions there, just feel free to subscribe, turn on the bell, and follow the live streams, okay? Here, usually, we just try to, to focus on the game mostly, focus how the game work out and what we can do better next time, and how we can keep improving. At this point, with Infinite Edge, we are just really strong, brother. We are just really, really strong. I love Infinite Edge as a second item, okay? I actually do, but the thing is that the crits are not that huge. Like, Lethality seems to perform way better with... Um, with a failures, with collector, collector second items is to perform way better because it's a lot of damage early in the game and it's a setup to to infinity th tier item or four item. The only reason I took BT here though was because of all that insane punk that they have. Like uh, I'm just gonna get damage no matter what, and I need to deal with that if I don't wanna insta die. But so far I'm 13 kills into the game, and the game should be secure, right? The game should be, but brother. Uh, I don't know how to tell you this, like, you can lose any game, dude. you just can lose any game, especially if your team kinda runs it down, okay? Now, for example, here I'm just trying to teach this Ezreal a lesson, brother. He needs to respect Aphelios way more. And I'm so happy, I'm so willing to flash and ghost, because if I kill this guy, I get an inhibitor, and then afterwards I can just play chill and play with turrets under the drake but we kind of make a mistake here we kind of make a mistake because blitzcrank decided to go the other way and because blitzcrank decided the other way he's focusing he's solo focusing Ezreal like you see that brother bro went to Ezreal for some reason <laughs> instead of helping me here but yeah it is what it is brother it is what it is they go tilted without play they throw the ff momentum but yeah, bro, it is what it is. Now, at this point of the game, I'm just I'm just forced to get that Lord Dominic, dude. Because we, they are getting mountain drakes, and I just need to deal with that. And then Zack just runs it down, too. Like, I don't know. Maybe my team was tilted. Maybe my brother here, Zack, was tilted. I don't know. Maybe brother was just crazy. But he just runs it down for some reason. And then my guy is just trying to do something. Kind of working. But yeah, like I said... Cassante and Zag were looking for ways to us uh, lose this game. Like I was legitimately wondering, are, are, are we getting tra win trader? Are we getting trolled here? Maybe those guys hate me, and actually I'm getting trolled in this match. I don't know. Nonetheless, we are still on game, and as long as we're still on game and we can kite, we can win this. Okay. Like for example, here, there is another important thing that you need to keep in mind. That you need to kite Johnny all the time. You never commit unless Johnny ultimates or you know you can sidestep it. And I was trying to do that really, really hard, okay? Look look at that. I'm getting close and then I'm running away. Running away and I only commit. And I only go for the for the hits when Johnny is next to me without R, without Q, without tier Q, okay? That is very, very important if you want to climb up, you want to keep improving. You need to understand before the team fight what is the things that you need to dodge, what is the thing that you need to avoid. And in this scenario, the things that you need to dodge, the things that you need to avoid is Johnny R, Johnny Q, you need to Q, and of course the stone, the karma stone, okay? That's 
those are things that you actually need to dodge. Now the game is likely over at this point, but this is still very easy for us to mess up. So since we are full items, we can just go front to back, but the trick here is that if we go front to back, we are not going to be able to kill that brand on time, okay? Thankfully, Zack performs a crazy good play. And because of that, I'm allowed to follow up like this, right? Look at that. Brand has some HP, right? Now he's gone. Magic trick. Did you see what I mean? This damage in late game is insane, brother. Just insane. <laughs> By the way, I'm willing to follow this guy up because I know I can out damage him. I definitely do. I can out damage him. And now at this point, if I don't perform my clicks in a good way, I'm just going to end up losing the game. And because I actually, per well, not really losing the game. I think my team can deal with them. But this kind of scenario, like this kind of decision making, I'm not saying I'm the best, okay? I'm saying the best, but this kind of decision making, being allowed to kill Brand fast instead of trying to wait for Johnny, just kill Brand and then follow on the next priority target, which is Airshell, and being able to perform all that, being able to take this decision, this is what is going to allow you to win more games, okay? Because I'm, I'm saying this because to the, in the stream today, the stream while we were playing this match, a guy came here saying that the first time watching my videos, he was so thankful because I was making guys, he was improving. But he did not understand what was the main purpose, right? What, what was the main thing that he needed to focus on to improve, right? How he wins game when his team is inting. And that is a simple answer, bro. Just carry, brother. Just carry, just perform, just be better, just one be nine, okay? And I'm saying this because there are games that you are not gonna win, but there, are, but there are games that you do. And in those games that you can win, that you can one be nine, you just need to do your best, bro. No matter how hard it is, no matter how difficult it is, just keep doing your best. All right. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next video. Take it, take it, take you. Goodbye.